him. I don't want him to feel like I'm giving him green light or something. Yes. Hey, oh, and I just give him things like that. Guys, so Ozzo won the arena games as he was the fastest to do everything. It was so epic because he was even the last, but he was the fastest. Anyways, the first guy is always in trouble. Anywho, Big Brother announced him as winner and said, housemates, do not forget to pamper the winner, Ozzo. Guys, you know it was when Praise won this thing last week that he got pampered by Katrina. Let's see how it goes down tonight. While I'm recording this video, the housemates are currently doing task in the arena. You'd have heard the winner already. On this episode, however, I'm going to update you with the title of this video, which is Kidwaya and Nengi. And then bits and balls of the chilled house. House has really been chilled. Housemates have been having fun. And there's one particular thing that's just been repeating itself. I've repeated in the past two videos. I'm actually really getting tired of it. Anyway, I'll relax and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. This is your first time here. Welcome. Please click the subscribe button and the bell right beside it. If this is not your first time, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. First thing we're going to talk about, obviously, is Kidwaya and Nengi. Guys, Kidwaya and Nengi have this friendship that if it blows out into something else, it's going to be fire. Like, Erika should actually watch her because they are just bonding in such a stressful way. Like, he has given her compliments on compliments. He's told her before that he believes she's going to make the top three. She actually gave him a hug for that. He told her that she's a female version of himself and he really loves the way she's playing her game. He's giving her lots and lots of compliments. And they say it, she doesn't blush or anything. I mean, she's, she's flirtatious. He's also flirtatious. But they still manage to keep it on that nice guy-to-guy -guy friendship but guy to girl level like it's just so epic Negi knows how to play a good game i must say who i guess she was just tired and just talking about how the guys also and prince obviously are all over her and stuff and then she's just like it is what it is jerry ah Kidwaya was like, what are you talking about? Like, you don't have to be with any of these guys in this house. Just flirt with all of them. Really flirt with all of them. You don't have to blow any guy in the house. Just flirt with all of them. That she can imagine how he is right now, now. Flirtatious and all that. If he was a girl, oh my god. He'll be giving... Like, all of them will be having her ones every time. Trust him. They'll be fighting over him. Literally. That she'll just be looking at all of them fighting. In like, fact, they won't be eating together. You know how you make Indomie and bring two forks? No. Everybody will have their own fork because of him. If he was a girl. Your own place, you eat. Everyone has their own corner. Nengi now say, <laughs> you're so naughty. <laughs> they'll be fighting with me. You're so naughty. No, man, be... He now said, oh, more, even the things he'll be wearing, oh my God, that nobody will even understand. She now said, Nengi, do that, do that to Ozo. Flirt with him, but not so much. Like, you guys can just be sitting down and then you just stand up, just maybe touch his shoulder and just give him a kiss in the neck. Nengi was like, I don't want to give him the wrong feelings. I don't want to give him green light. She said, that's not green light. Green light is when you kiss on the lips. You kiss on the neck. You just touch his thighs. It's like, oh God, this... <laughs> I say, oh God. You just touch his thighs. It's like, oh God, this your thighs are big. I like them. Like, he was just like, put him in one mood, but he's not sure. But then again, he's feeling special. She said, oh, I don't want to give him the wrong image. You know, I say, fuck the wrong image. People are going to think whatever they want to think, no matter what you do. So just do what you have to do. Type thing. <laughs> you grab. That, you know, that kind of way that Ozo will now be thinking, that come, is this green light? Or is this orange light? That, you know, give him bestie vibes. At the same time, give him intimate vibes. And do the same thing to Prince. Yeah, I just don't want anybody to get the wrong. That he wants Ozo said to be sparking. That what information is this girl giving me? What information is this girl giving me? But that she should just be, you know. To be honest, guys, that's what Nengi's already doing right now. All this one kid is for me. He's giving information. The girl is already doing that. It's just that she's not doing it viciously so that we can hate her. She knows what she's doing. Wait, why do I not talk? She knows the word of Prince. I said, do the same thing, flirt with all of them. <laughs> you guys, this kid is a beast. But then again, we need these people in this house. If not, we'll be bored. Now you do the same shit, Prince. Then another thing, um, Tolani and Nengi are now developing this friendship. I'm not really understanding who is being, you know, I don't know. Obviously, we all know Nengi is playing the game, but Nengi is not a wicked person. Do you get so? I don't know what place she's coming from. I guess she's just trying to be friendly with Tolani or just so that maybe. She can explain to her that come, I'm not the one chasing Prince or something, I don't know. But they were just in the room, just the one kind of juice, you're just sitting down. And I don't know what Tola has up her sleeves, but that looks like something that would be interesting. Then the gist that I told you guys I'm tired about, oh my gosh, is Leko. Leko and Erika, like you should let this thing go. He's still talking to Keisha today, talking to Prince tomorrow. Like he's still just crying about this whole friendship, love. Erika is already tired. Like he's even irritating. I mean, we're irritating on our behalf every day. What will I do? There? As in, at some point, even with people, he was now. I don't know what he was asking. Erika, like, this, like my story is the same. Like everything I've been saying, I'm very attracted to. Um, I'm very attracted to Kid Wire. He's a friend. I see a friend in you. Do you get praise was telling him something like people will use you when they want to eat your cake and have your cake and eat it. That be Erika has already told him. If talking to me is going to be a problem for you, stop talking to me. Do whatever it is you want to do. 
And I said, I don't want it to be a problem for you. You said, I can cope. But clearly, you can't. It's like, it's just irritating. Like, the girl is just in the house. The other day, V and Tolani dragged her. Do you like it? Do you like, do you like Leko? Do you like Eri? Would you like better? Like, please leave me alone. Like, it's just, it's just that Erika is so sweet. She just keeps answering. But they're still playing in the house. One time, we were all in the room. And then Erika played the prank on Prince, saying they saw white substance. Blah, blah. But to be honest, I didn't even understand that joke. I just saw them laughing. And also, Dora, they all got into the joke, and everyone was laughing. So that's about it guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't share with your friends and i'll see you on the next episode bye bye